<clears throat> okay. Might be a little bit too loud. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Hello, hello. Ooh, okay. Uh... <laughs> This is a test stream. Hello, hello everybody. This is a test stream uh, just to see if this actually is stable enough. Uh, because last time I tried to stream this, uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, everything fell apart, basically. <laughs> we couldn't get more than three minutes in uh, without problems. And so, um, yeah, no file was saved or anything because we didn't even finish the tutorial properly. Um, but yeah. Basically, I'm just testing this out, and uh, I, will, I will be doing most of the things that I wanted to do in the previous one. Hopefully, it shows uh, properly. I, I didn't really pay attention much to the uh, cinematic or whatnot. It's fully voice acted, but um, I do plan to do a full Let's Play of Pikmin 3 Deluxe on the channel at some point. I've been... I was planning a, a Pikmin 3 Let's Play um, from the Wii U version. But then Chucky Conroy launched his and I didn't really want to do the same thing as he was doing at the same time. I mean, he is recognized as one of the best Let's Players and he was the person that inspired me to the Let's Plays. Uh, it's just I, don't, I didn't really want to do the exact same thing at the exact same time. Um, because it feels very much like he... Uh, will completely, uh, how to say it, it's not outperform me per se, um, but his videos have a lot more research and, uh, and stuff put into them, and so I, I just didn't really want them to come out at the same time, so uh, I decided to wait and to do other stuff that I enjoyed, uh, ended up pushing back a lot of series that I am working on right now, so uh, yeah, and then and that up being that um, that this game was announced, Pikmin 3 Deluxe was announced, so I decided to wait until Pikmin 3 Deluxe was out. Uh, check out the controls, the changes, a prologue, and plan out a full series uh, on the YouTube channel uh, whenever whenever it comes out. But yeah, we'll definitely be doing a full Let's Play of Pikmin 3 Deluxe later down the line. For now. Testing out with a demo is more than okay. I actually like this demo a lot. I've cleared it like five times already. Um, I mean, it's it's this, it's the same game, right? The fr the first couple of days from the from the game. Let me see. Uh, what happened? What would you do if that was the first thing you saw when you woke up after crash landing on a different planet? Oh, where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF-404. Planet not found. Charlie to ship. Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? <laughs> this is me every time I talk to chat. <laughs> Or to the comment section on YouTube. Man, it's lonely sometimes. Shoutouts to chat. I managed to escape on Skate, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. And so we come to Captain Charlie. Um, the, the captains in this game... For anyone that's played Pikmin before and didn't play Pikmin 3, uh, you do not control Olimar in this game's main story. Uh, Olimar and Louie are are part of the story, yeah, but you don't control them as part of the story. Uh, these people are Charlie, Alf, and Brittany, the captain, engineer, and botanist from Kopai. Uh, main story, uh, because I didn't really pay attention much to the cutscene or whatever, uh, is uh, planet lacks lacks proper planning, finishes food, then sends explorers into space to find food. That's the basic story. 
They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. Yeah, correct. Alright, <laughs> enough of the mushroom breaking over there. We have mushrooms to break over here. Now, a lot of people just go back and whistle at the pigment on the back, but you don't actually have to do that. And because this is not the file that I plan on using whenever I, I go for the full game, uh, I, I don't really feel a lot of interest in breaking all of the mushrooms around. Because usually the, the destruction that you unleash over on this side would be would stay on the on the full adventure, right? Because this is tutorial, 100% tutorial. But uh, I don't feel I don't feel like breaking all the mushrooms, man. Respect them lives, respect them mushroomy lives. And you get all 30 blue Pikmin anyway, whenever you come over here after that little scene, so it doesn't really matter much. Doesn't, doesn't really matter much. Because after you do this, oh, a lot of monsters, they're not, they're not gonna eat your Pikmin. <laughs> they're just gonna be running away. And by the time you kill all of them, because let, let's be 100% honest, you're killing them. They, they disappear completely after you rush them. Uh, this happens. So Charlie's gone. Poor Charlie. Now, um, Charlie, and I already said their names, Charlie, Alf, and Brittany, right? Uh, their names come from the way that military teams are usually called based on uh, an alphabet. It's Alf for Alpha, Brittany from Bravo, and Charlie, of course, from Charlie. Uh, those are the names of the teams. At some point in development of the original uh, Pikmin 3, there was uh, the intention of having a fourth character that was supposed to be, like when they presented them, it was Captain A, B, C, and D. The Captain D would have had something to do with Delta, but uh, they ended up scrapping that. And so in the end, it was just three captains, Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. However, Charlie is the captain of the ship, Alf is the engineer, so just as the Estes Drig was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As a ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the Estes Drig and my crew members. Now, the, the pronunciation Alf has for Drake, uh, it's more akin to Japanese, so Drake. But I just like I just like to think that uh, that he has a very heavy accent, anyways. What was that? You know, looks a little bit like Olimar, big nose, beady beady eyes. <laughs> Interesting, right? And so we find some weird red creatures jumping to grab some fruit out of a tree. Interesting specimen, indeed. And what's that stuck in that branch? Well, uh... Because we already had that part of the tutorial, we now learn to lock on, which I don't really like too much compared to the original. Like, the lock on in the original was slow, but at the very least it let you move um, the cursor anyways, even if you locked on. But uh, in this one you can't. You lock on and you cannot move the cursor unless you press the B button. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. And we can look around, change the camera. This is tutorial, tutorial land, so... They also changed the charge mechanic from, from Pikmin 3 to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And so now you just press a button and they charge. It still is a little bit awkward to me and you usually pick... Like you send one type of Pikmin at a time when you charge. Not all of them. It, it's a little bit weird and it... it takes a little bit getting used to, to be sure. Now let's push these pigments so that they build a bridge a little bit faster and uh, you're falling behind, so I'm gonna throw you. Thank you very much. Wait, what? Why are you here? Go! Go! <laughs> Gotta go faster! Come on, faster, faster. Ah, crap. Got in your way, I'm sorry. How's it going so far, chat? Have, have any of you played Pikmin before? To me, Pikmin is one of my favorite franchises from Nintendo, and honestly, Pikmin 2 might be my favorite game of all time. I play Pikmin 2 once a year, at the least. Oh, you're done, so come over. 
<laughs> Let's push these two. That's one. That's two. Come back. Come back. And only one of them is gonna go backwards. But we completed the bridge. Alright. Wonderful, the bridge is complete. And so we get our iPad. I mean, cop pad. I mean, Wii U gamepad. <laughs> this is basically what we are getting the Wii U gamepad. And even though we just arrived to the planet, we have a full map of the area. <laughs> Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from cop height engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the cop pad stream. Usually, you would have done this with a touch screen in the Wii U. Now we just use the control stick. Easy as pie. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. That's what you say, Alf, but uh, we can't get through. There's a big box in the way. Now we can start exploring with the help of the cup pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. And there we go. Um, there are achievements in this game as well, and one of the achievements is to take photos of uh, secret, um, what was it? Secret murals, or hidden murals that are appear around the world. And it's all fine, it's all good, dandy. Uh, you can find a lot of murals actually in this game. There are a lot of murals, and it's just like cave paintings of Pikmin doing different stuff. Like dancing, just hanging around, lying down. It's interesting to say the least. But there are a lot of murals in this game, and it's interesting just to see because of the uh, of the art style choice for that. Because they really do look like cave paintings. Oh, excuse you. I was I was trying to yes, thank you. Because as I said, this game has achievements, and so we've just got one bare knuckled. If you hit a monster to death like that, you get the achievement. <laughs> And it's better to do it in the tutorial, because if you don't, then you're gonna be running against time. Pikmin games are infamously timed. You have a certain amount of time per day to, uh, to get everything that you need to be done. And if you don't, then you can leave your tasks in the middle of them. If there's any carcasses, then they disappear overnight and, well, they decompose. And uh, basically... You, you have to take into account everything that you were doing just to get uh, everything done within the time limit per day. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. I, I'm not even sure of what type of accent I'm giving Alf anymore, but I'm giving him one. <laughs> so that that's that, I suppose. Alright, we've got 12 Pikmin so far, and we want to start multitasking. From this point onward, uh, we'll have Pikmin handling different tasks. I want... yeah, three Pikmin is fine because only only one is able to carry each and every one of these little monsters at a time, so that's fine. And the five pellet over here, this is a pellet posy, a five pellet posy. The other ones, the smaller ones that we got, were obviously one pellet posies. But uh, yeah, these ones are... Uh, ten Pikmin are able to carry that at the same time. We don't have ten Pikmin freely at the moment, but uh, we have enough. Now, in past Pikmin games, there was the option to have... Um, to have to stay the Pikmin, let the Pikmin stay underground, so that they develop a little bit more into buds and flowers. I think they took that out in Pikmin 3, so you're not able to nurture your Pikmin all the way to flowers in the first day. It's it's something. They they did a lot of interesting changes to the Pikmin uh, with Pikmin 3. They really made the AI better. Pikmin have a lot less trouble keeping up with you. Uh, <laughs> it's harder, uh, I mean it's easier to separate the Pikmin and throw the Pikmin that you want. And the changes that I made to Pikmin 3 Deluxe I think are very good quality of life changes, but there's also some stuff that makes less sense than letting things be the way they were in Pikmin 3. We're gonna get into that later, but for now... What's that? It's a file. It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop pad will be able to read it. Grabs it and... The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. So basically just Pikminology. Excellent! The cop pad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop pad's exploration notes. 
and so it goes. Exploration notes for everybody. It's just like installing an app. There we go. There's another achievement in this game for collecting every single one of those. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Well, technically yes. Also technically no. <laughs> yes. And so um, basically this is the tutorial section of Pikmin. You get those. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about the mushrooms. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Alf. They're not edible to your kind because your kind only eats uh, fruit. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Well, uh, that's actually very hard to... Very, very hard to say. Because these appear to be natural, but there's also this that appears to be man-made or, well, made by intelligent life forms, right? This is supposed to be Earth. Um, Pikmin 2 was supposed to be Earth at least a few hundred or maybe even thousands of years after humans ceased to exist. Uh, but this is a lot of time after uh, Pikmin 2. Well, in Earth time, because you know, space travel takes time. That it is the SS Drake. Drake. The cop pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> his eyebrows, his non existent eyebrows. Incoming transmission, who could it be? And it is the last member of the crew, Brittany. Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starving. And it froze. Of course she's starving. We've been here an entire day and... Uh, we can't worry about anything else but survival. Oh no, we cut off... I wonder how far Brittany is, but at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. Mmm, someone's hungry. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's fine, Britain is gonna be okay. Doesn't really matter if there's predators here, probably there's no predators where she is. She's gonna be A-OK, -okay, mighty fine, completely. Did you guys agree? And so we leave. Back to the traditional Pikmin end of the day music. Here we go. Yeah. And the onion also took off with us. You gotta, you gotta understand that the, as this isn't Olimar, this is the first time these people are seeing Pikmin and understanding the Pikmin behavior. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Now, something that is very, very interesting that I have not been able to see in this game because, um, or rather, I haven't really paid attention to, uh, if you finish the demo, you can select the file again and go back in day selection, because you can actually go back in time and start playing from a previous day. Uh, if you try to select day one as if you're starting a new file within the same save file that you were playing, you will actually see that they had a lot more um, canisters of juice ready to be uh, consumed. But it is true, a lot of them were destroyed in the crash, so now they only have three. And Alf had to eat at the end of the day, so now they only have two. So there you go. We can also watch a, re a replay of what we did during the day if, uh, if I want to do this, uh, times 10. That's basically just this is exactly what you did during your day. If you want to do that and to see what you could have done differently to avoid waiting, uh, this is a, a useful tool for speedrunners. I don't speedrun this game. I'd love to speedrun at some point, but that's basically it. And here's the achievements, also called badges. And you can also take a look like this because there's ranks according to the amount of uh, achievements that you've unlocked. It's not many, uh, to be 100% honest. I think. These are pretty simple story, you just unlock them as you go through the story, uh, but mission mode is also not very hard. 
We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. There we go. Also, having having that file over there, just so that they didn't have to name the Pikmin uh, again or something different, and then uh, and, and the Onions as well, just to keep it consistent with what Olimar named them, because Olimar discovered the Pikmin, named them, and the Onions, and pretty much every other creature in PNF 404, which is the official name for Earth in this universe. So, now we're going to the Garden of Hope. There has to be hope somewhere, guys. At some point, somewhere, there has to be hope. I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kobai. That would be very, very bad. Yeah, as, as you can see, you can talk. I still can't shake this awful feeling that there was something more to our crash than we know. It felt almost that, as if some power from the planet's surface was manipulating our ship. And you can also check the cup pad for your files or whatever else, so if you want to check out Pikmin behavior or your controls, review anything that you hadn't really read before, uh, if you got a lot of other notes during the day or whatnot, you can do that. Uh, you can check out your options, change the controls, whatever else, or go to an earlier day, which is the save file select from Pikmin 3. And just day select from Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I guess. But now we're going to the Garden of Hope. Day 2, here we go. Triumphant music for our descent into the madness. Brittany should be around here. Something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's hair. I'm running out of sustenance, so I hope I find her before it's too late. Okay, basically, <laughs> yes, after we see that the Onion has followed us. Uh, we have two goals in day number two. Well, technically, in this area, we have two goals. The first one is to find Brittany, and the second one is to find a way to look for Captain Charlie. Oh, that's right, the data file I found explained all this. The Onion is a pigment's nest. That's it, pigmentology number two. I'm going to install an application on the cup pad that lets me check the pigment status remotely. This one is useful and replaces, well not replaces, but it's an enhanced version of the HUD from Pikmin 2. Alright, starting off we're gonna break off this wall with a few of the Pikmin, that's mighty fine. Uh, we can also grab that, make more Pikmin, we're gonna need them. As soon as it turns red we can throw it over there. In order to carry a baby tiny board, you're gonna need three Pikmin. We want to multiply our Pikmin numbers a little bit more and charge these over here to start building a bridge over there. This is basically the route that speedrunners go through whenever they start a new Pikmin file. A new Pikmin 3 file. Now, I, I, I just said I don't speedrun, right? But I do like to watch speedruns a lot. And I, I learned to try the tech. Because it's it's really not that hard. For some, some of these cases, it's not really hard tech. Um, and sometimes it's just not even tech, it's just optimized movement. So, if you can try it, go ahead and do that. You can better your play a lot. You can multiply your numbers a lot faster, definitely. And it can do a lot of good things for you. So, if you've ever been interested in speedrunning and you like Pikmin, I say give it a try. Watch some speedruns and try some of the tech in there. There, the speedrun community is very friendly, and you all, <laughs> 15 exploration notes. Excuse me, game, but uh, I think that is the second one I grabbed. Of course, it's also counting the ones that we've gotten from tutorials. So, uh, excuse me, I didn't say you could go over there, Pikmin. All right, we're gone. We've gotten 33 Pikmin so far. There's been some additions, like uh, eggs that you can actually uh, use to turn your leaf Pikmin into flower Pikmin. I'm not really keen on using them too much, but uh, yeah, they did add them, so I mean, if you want to, go ahead and use them. Of course, as I said before, we're gonna want to multiply our numbers as much as possible, so go ahead and do that. I, I don't really want to put a lot more Pikmin into these. Uh, and we can just leave these Pikmin B, we're not gonna be needing them anymore after this. Well, not too much. 
it, it might sound a little bit cold, but trust me, I get super depressed the moment a Pikmin dies. All right, you're all you're all done. We are not gonna need the new ones, and it's better if they stay on the ground for a while. For us, at the very least, it's better because they will naturally progress through their uh, life cycles from leaf to bud to flower, and flowers are the most powerful. Oh no, Boritani is just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. And probably, hopefully not. Pick up, Britani. Pick up. Please still be alive. And she picked up. Except she's not holding a cop pad. Alf? Sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So, you're close by? Why, wasn't I moving, you ask? <laughs> well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But, never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Well, I guess I know what she's talking about. So we're gonna keep progressing for the time being. Just for the time being. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this giant thing really is fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I'd like to analyze it at the Drake, but how do I get it there? Well, the same way that we've been getting everything back to base with Pikmin. We can let them go back, we've already eliminated all of the enemies in the way. And just come over here. By coming here, there's a lot of crystals. We could not have gone the other way. There was a crystal wall. So, what is that thing? It looks a little teensy tiny bit like an onion. And this looks like a monster. So what do we do with monsters? We throw pigment at them, of course. Now, it's gonna throw the pigment off after it does that. Don't worry about it. You can just keep throwing your pigment on top of it and you will eventually die. And these are rock pigment. New types of Pikmin, firstly introduced in Pikmin 3. Are these creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. They recognize you as their leader. Alright, uh, so now we do this. Throw them. What I like to do is throw them like this. You need to throw 10 Pikmin at one of those crystals in order to break them. If you have a, a ton of Pikmin, you can basically just... Uh, charge them at the crystal and they will immediately break it, but uh, we have only six right now So throwing five calling them back and then throwing them again will effectively break it in less time And then I want to split them up by type. I'll use white to dismiss this squad Yeah, so now we got the a the Y button and we can do this to dismiss uh, For now, it's not gonna have a lot of use. It's, there's no real point in actually dismissing the Pikmin too much so these break with three, then you want to throw another one because they they get flung far away. And then call them back again, throw them, there we go. I don't want you to take them, Red. There we go. That's the only thing that we need, and I'm gonna bring up as many rock pigment as possible because we actually need a lot of them to break these crystal stuff and if we want to multiply them as well then we're gonna have to multitask get a lot of rock pigment working on the crystal things and get a lot of rock pigment working on multiplying now analyzing the fruit these actually look super ripe and delicious the sunseed berry as named by Olimar and Louis ship in pigment 2 has now been squeezed into juice Large quantities of vitamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. And now we have three canisters. So, yeah, that is the way that you add time to your overall game timer in this uh, in Pikmin 3. Because if you run out of juice, you run out of sustenance, and you have to go back home. So, in order to keep going with your exploration here, you have to get more juice. Meaning, the more fruit you get, the more days you get to explore. I'll add a fruit file to the cup pad where we can store the results of our an analysis. And with that, we have completely filled the memory of the cup pad and we cannot install any more apps. That's it. We got some fruit files. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Britani to write the reports. She is the botanist after all. Yes. So now we got the rolls completely uh, placed. Retrieve a fruit in story mode. We got another one of those. Uh, yeah, basically that's that. 
Let me get the rest of those. Let me get the rest of those. Thank you. With this, it's 22. 22 rocks. So, of course, let's test what I just said about this. Charge it and they break imme immediately. So, if you have more than what you would need by throwing, it's faster to just charge. If you do not, then it's faster to just throw them and call them back. As for this, this is a crystal wall. So, I'm gonna charge them a little bit, then call them back, throw a couple, and charge again. Uh, it, there's there's a little bit of a debate. I'm not entirely sure if it has been settled completely uh, as to what is faster when trying to break these walls. Uh, some people say that hitting multiple points is the best way. Some people say that hitting the exact same point is the best way and charging seems to do a number on it. So I'm not entirely sure on that. I cannot comment on that. <sighs> I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I am sick of sleeping outside and I'm super hungry. Uh, What's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin. They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie! Yep, we got a fruit! <laughs> Try to guess. Try to guess what the lemon is called. Let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Alright, so basically this is another tutorial. This area of the game is off the timer. We're gonna want our... Yeah, we're gonna want our red Pikmin over there, and then just throw Brittany. With that, I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me if you'd be so kind. So, if you press Y, you'll bring up the same menu to this van, but if you push the stick to the left, you just change captains. So, let's push all seven with that, and there's a new function. If you use the cop pad to move somewhere, you'll just be able to go. I'm gonna bring Brittany over here to start plucking the Pikmin that we left here beforehand and accompany these ones with the lemon and then we'll, we're gonna bring Brittany back so that uh, she grabs the Pikmin that we send over with the rocks because we're gonna multiply rocks in a moment. Now that I think about it, there was indeed a go here function built into that either. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split into multiple squads, which is exactly what I just did. So uh, throw it over here. That's a good one. Rock. Rock. Okay, over here. Uh, throw them up to the gray ones. When it's gray, it's for the rocks. When it's red, it's for the reds. Basically, basically that's what it all means. These are wimps. <laughs> Don't really remember their official names, to be 100% honest, but... One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we have less than ten. We're gonna be needing ten in order to break this over here. So, launch as many as possible, that was six, and then just finish breaking it. Uh, let's send all of our reds up into that. We're gonna have three left over. They can come over here. We're gonna send all of our rocks, remaining rocks, over to this. Oh, that was all of our Pikmin. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing I don't understand about this game. To, to be 100% honest, sometimes you send all of them, sometimes you don't even send half of them, because you're just sending one color. So we've recovered all of our reds. Everyone comes to this pile because this is going to create a bridge for us to go back to the beginning area where we were before the fruit was recovered. And so that is done. Now that this bridge is complete, we're going to want to grab this sunseed berry over here. Excuse me, gotta be on a higher plane. Grab that. The pigmen are going to choose the shortest way to come back over here. So. For now, we've got all of our Pikmin. The ones that we don't have are going to be here in a moment. Don't worry about it too much. As I said, different opinions on this because you have to break it all. So hitting multiple points seems like the best way to break it. Why am I not splitting up yet? Because I actually need Brittany here with us. The reader is picking up something. There's a signal coming from here. It must be the captain. Yep, that's what you think. Let's go let's go there right away. We can't be certain, but let's try it anyway. And so we have a new enemy called the Fiery Blowhog. It's dead. It blows fire. 
basically that's what its name is, blow hog, because it's kind of like a hog and it blows and it's fiery because it blows fire. There are materials for constructing a bridge on the opposite shore. If I work together with Brittany, I think I, we can get the bridge built. To ask Brittany to join the squad, move the cursor over to her and call, call her by pressing B, in case that you were not together at the time. And he's dead. Okay, cool. Now, let's throw all of our rocks all the other way and a few of the reds. We're still gonna want some reds here. Uh, throw Brittany over and just charge over here because we're gonna want to multiply. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And so, Alf, I really need you to go all the way over to the rocks over here. We want to start getting the rocks back. Uh, also retrieve the ones that we <laughs> that we left planted, right? So uh, let's get these open, put the rocks to work on that, and put the reds to work on this. However, we're gonna want only like five or six, because I also want to break this wall down. While Alf is going the other way, we're multitasking over here. Basically, that's everything that we're doing. We're just multitasking as much as possible as to get a lot of things done right now. So let's check on off. If you think that you can actually go faster than what they are going, that is true. You can go faster than these guys uh, walk automatically. It, the function to walk automatically is more than anything for convenience sake. But if you actually can't take control of the character and move around, it's better than you do that because the characters walk slower when they're not being controlled. The onion stopped spitting out seeds. But the Pikmin inside the onion still seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, one of, uh, once the number of Pikmin in the field reaches 100, any new Pikmin will stay inside the onion. This means that a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be active outside the onion at any one time. Correct. There's a limit to the number of Pikmin on the surface at a time, but more can sprout inside the onion. True. Alright, uh, now we're all the way back here. Call up on our friends. Uh, not all of them are buds, but uh, we can just start blocking away and change over to Brittany, checking how these guys are doing. Uh, this is still going to be a little bit of a ways off. This one is going. Okay, this is good. This is good. We're all doing good, good work. Basically, the moment that this is done, like right there, uh, this pigment can start working on the eggs. These are also done, so you can start working on the wall. That's basically what we want. Just uh, change over. Alf is already done. Call all the pigmen and return here to get all the other pigmen that we also um, created? Question mark. All right. This should be done. Yeah, that's done. Beat it. Beat the wall. Change over to Alf. Let's walk a little bit faster back. This is the fastest route, and uh, to be 100% honest, I am trying to do a little bit of a different type of multitasking because usually at this point I have um, I have them in the same place, but I've also taken care of some of the people, uh, some of the enemies on the other side by the lake. Uh, but today I wanted to focus a little bit more on the actual objective, and that over there is just for an extra food that you can get on this visit, but it's re really not mandatory. Uh, we're, we're still gonna come back to the Garden of Hope later, so it's not really a pressing matter and I'd rather do that if I have time during this day rather than um, making it a priority to break down another wall and beat on enemies that don't really have a bearing on what we're doing at the moment. So there we go. Now we're turning them into flowers automatically. A flower bloomed on that pigment's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them. They actually become faster and are a little bit more, um, well, technically they're more powerful because they attack faster. If they attack faster, they deal damage faster, so that means they're more powerful compared to their uh, leave and bud selves. That's it. That's as many as I could flower, that's the way that we're gonna stay. I am missing one Pikmin, which uh, doesn't really sit too well with me, but it's over at the base, so there's really nothing to worry about. We still have a lot of time in the day. As you can see, we're like a quarter of the day left, which is more than enough time, I think, to get everything done that we need to be done with by the end of this day. There's another data file over here. We recover it and... My search for treasure continues with no luck, 
but I can fly back home to, Hok uh, to Hokotate without procuring a few priceless artifacts. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So if someone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Captain Olimar. Yeah. Captain, Captain Olimar? Olimar? I can't say I've heard of him, but he's from Hokotate, hey? That's not far from Kopai. Strange planet. I've heard that Hokotations will do anything to get their hands on treasure. And they eat vegetables too. How bizarre. Poor fellow. Sounds like he ran into trouble up ahead. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of contrast in between either cultures and or species. Uh, technically different species, Kopites and, uh, and Hokotations, even though they have a similar constitution. Hello, weird tree trunk. Hollowed out. Hello, big bug. Yeah, so um, something I really didn't mention at all is that um, Alf, Brittany, uh, Charlie, Olimar, the pigmen, they measure about an inch. Yeah, they're about an inch tall, so. Uh, yeah, thank you for the information. Didn't really need that, but uh, I will gladly do that. Can you please stop? Thank you. Just just chase, chase, chase it. And as long as you do that, you should be able to get them all up on its grill. It has one sliver of life left. Just one sliver. Which, to be honest, is a little bit uh, frustrating. Here it comes, or maybe not. This is the frustrating part about this uh, enemy. It's called the Armored Crawbat, uh, I think. Here it comes. Okay. As long as you don't move while it's doing its animation, there won't be any problems. It will close the pincers, and if you hit him once more, it's done. Goodbye to the armored crawman. Crawl that. Whatever it is. We are gonna get an achievement for this, but we also got a big old telephone. This is a house phone. So this was emitting that signal. But what does this mean for the captain's whereabouts? I guess for now we should take this back to the Durek for analysis. It might be of some use to us. Hopefully it is. So basically, um, I want these to go to the Reds. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, more than anything for convenience, because even though we want to multiply the rocks further, the Reds are closer. So for time's sake, we'll just give the, the boss to the Reds. Any stray pygmy will undoubtedly face attacks from nocturnal predators. This is a very big feature from Pikmin 3 that I'm very glad that they, they put in. This circle is your base. If there's any Pikmin outside of this circle by the time that the day ends, they will be eaten overnight. But the Pikmin that are close to the onion should be able to make it back on their own. Make sure pigmen are in your squad or close to the onion. This refers to any onion, so if you just discovered a type of pigmen and the onion is far away from the base, if there's pigmen around that onion, they will still be safe. Don't worry about it. I'd better call back the pigmen who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the pigmen. So I'll make sure that when you press A near the SS Drake, a whistle will be sound that will call all pigmen back to the onion. That is a new feature for Pigmen 3 Deluxe. Uh, that was not something present in the original Pikmin 3, but now if you do that on Pikmin 3 Deluxe, all of the Pikmin around the map will come to your base. Basically, uh, making sure that there's one Pikmin out? Wait, I didn't... No, <laughs> that's not it. Okay, uh, I'm trying to look for that. Oh, okay, I see where he is. Uh, so apparently we're gonna be using that function, or maybe not. Maybe I can just make Brittany go do that. It's really no problem. When it's one Pikmin in one area, there's really no problem. Uh, so basically what you do is throw Brittany, change to Brittany, use cop pad, and make Brittany come all the way over here. Change back to Alf and we can go back to doing stuff in our own time, at our own pace. No worries at all. Now. This is what I uh, what I said before that I usually do instead of uh, just rushing into the boss area because, well, the boss is the priority today because of the demo and whatnot. Because I wouldn't really mind spending a, a second day here if I was going for the fruit. But because this is the demo and I'm just showing this off, uh, I think 
that it's just best to make progress, so... And basically, that's uh, that's what the speedrunners have as a goal, right? Uh, let's get these corpses a little bit of use. Try to break the wall. As I said, not all of them do the thing. Gonna grab this. These are new. These are different enemies. I'm really not gonna pay attention to them too much. Get the Pikmin and then move back to the base. Map rotates around, so I'm, I'm confusing me a little bit. But yeah, there we go. Wall is uh, wall is down. You can technically go ahead and try to recover the fruit uh, that is over there. Okay, and now stay on the lookout because these guys are definitely not gonna make it. The only thing that matters that you get over there is the phone. Anything else doesn't really matter, so I am immediately calling everything else back. I just wanted the phone. And the phone made it back because we had more Pikmin. They are now in base. They are now at base. And they made it all the way to the Drake. That's everything that you need in order to get to the next area, and that is the end of the demo. As soon as you get the phone here, that is the end of the demo. We're receiving a transmission from the Drake. Drake. Analyzing recovered item. Analysis complete. An ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to copy and is emitting a signal even now. Are you sure it's not radiation? If I integrate this device into the Drake's communication system, I should be able to boost our signal's strength. Looks like it's going to be an all-nighter for me. But yeah, basically, there you go. Full day two, we defeated a boss. And we got our signal to increase. That's basically what I wanted to show uh, with the demo. Uh, <laughs> as I said, if it was the actual Pikmin 3 uh, game or a Let's Play, I would have spent two days here. One, uh, to get everything done, multiply our Pikmin, I would have sent a lot more to the rocks. I would have gotten the other fruit and I would have left the boss for the second day. Basically, that's, that's how I would have handled it or what, how I plan to handle it in the future. Uh, as I said, I do want to make a full Let's Play out of this. Uh, well, yeah, a full Let's Play out of it. But for now, one more thing that they changed from Pikmin 2 to Pikmin 3. Instead of having multiple onions on the overworld, after the day that you discover a new type of Pikmin, both onions will merge. Very interesting. The two of them... Something something. <laughs> something or other. Different color onions can fuse into a single one. For some reason. Let's analyze the other fruit too. And now we we can see the fruit file over here to see what we have. This is the sunseed berry and Brittany says, As a scientist and as a food eater, I'm excited about this new source of potential nutrition. I just wish it didn't look like it was covered in pimples. Luckily the taste of it is like delicious and scrumptious had a baby. Let's gather as many of these as we can. Dogs are barking. Uh, and let's analyze the other ones. I'm gonna fast forward because you don't have you don't have as many frame drops as you had in the Wii U. The Wii U really dropped the frames a lot. No extra gloves for anyone, and you only consume one canister per day. It doesn't matter how many people there are, it's one canister per day. But we have four, so we have four extra days of exploration now. By the end of the day, we lost zero Pikmin. We got a new type of Pikmin. And we're good. All right. Um, as I said before, that is pretty much the end of the demo, and it's gonna kick us out. There are more, definitely more things that they added, like the Piclopedia, which I want to go into more and more detail, but I'm not gonna do it today. We recovered the uh, communication device that was inside the armored mod ad. According to all, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communications range. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent, Brittany. So yeah, they also take turns to write the reports. That's also very good. And you can now fight the armored mod ad in a defeat boss's mission, which is not available in the demo, so... Yeah, <laughs> they just tell you that so that you know that you unlocked a new mode on the challenges, but no. This concludes the demo. Um, you can... Exp uh, you can Import the save data from the demo into the full version of the game so that you unlock Ultra Spicy now that we've finished in hard mode. Uh, and uh, defeating the, the mod ad will also be there. So yeah, this is this is basically the, ex the extent of the demo for the story in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. 
There is, however, a different part of the demo that we have access to, and that is missions. There's only one mission available, no side stories, no bingo battle, but there's one mission available that you can also play in one or two player mode. And um, it's the first collect treasure. You cannot access any of these two modes. But you can collect treasure if you come here to Tropical Forest and go like this. You can, you can go through it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go through it once. I don't really care if I get a gold or a platinum medal in, in this attempt. I have gotten it in another file on platinum. Uh, but I do want to go over what they changed in this, uh, in this mode, basically. So that is, uh, there is now something called After Hours. So if you're not able to complete uh, the challenge, or the map rather, before the time runs out, you're able to play it again, excuse excuse you guys, you're able to play it again, no worries. That's five, five, and over there. So you're able to play this again, and uh, or rather, continue playing until you clear it completely. There will be no record saved for that, but you will be able to complete the map at your own pace. Why is that good, or why is it helpful? Because it lets you explore the map fully and plan out for your next attempt. That is perfect. The fact that they did that is amazing. I'm gonna leave those like that. I know now that it's open, but I should... I should be able to remember that I don't have anything over there. Call those rocks. Uh, we're gonna start by taking this down, except I think I trapped every single rock. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, uh, we're gonna leave the carcass there. Why? Because I wanna focus on some other stuff first. Didn't wanna break it because then these pigmen would have tried to go and help over there. I do not wanna fight this just, just yet. All of you concentrate on building the bridge, please and thank you. Attract the attention of this enemy away from those pigmen. Grab these pigmen over here, there's more enemies over here. These are called Scare Leaves. They are pretty harmless uh, unless they are full version of the leaves. Oh, are they both dead? No, they're not both dead. Come on. Pigmen, there we go. As long as only one lands on top of it, it's going to completely perish. Okay, now that that is done, we got a bridge, and now it's easy for us to just do this. Now everything that we can carry from this point is going to be carried directly onto the bridge instead of being carried through somewhere else. Basic, simple, not hard to understand, but it is hard to master. Pikmin is one of those games that is not really that hard to understand how to play, but it is very hard to master all of the things. Okay, the, those Pikmin are going to die if I can call them. These slugs are the bane of my existence. Okay, crap. Fire, fire on the pigmen, fire on the pigmen, fire on the pigmen, fire on the pigmen. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Okay, there's a lot of products over here. <laughs> I say products, but it's more like fruits and treasures. Those are the two main collectibles that are gonna be uh, in challenge mode. I don't know why they call them anything different. It's challenge mode. It's mission mode, but it's challenge mode. If you, if you get my, if you catch my drift. Now don't forget about these carcasses because I definitely have forgotten about them very often. All right, that's that's good. All that's good. All right, calling all of you back. Please help out. I want the I want the apple to get there as fast as possible because we have the two bigger enemies in this map to to go through yet. Uh, so we are gonna need our full squad. Pretty sure that we have all 50. Yes. Okay, if we have all 50, then these should, these should go pretty flawlessly. Alright, sorry, sorry about that. Little interruption over there. Uh, yep, just charge. As I said, pretty flawlessly. Uh, yep, go ahead. All of the rocks on this, distribute the reds so that they carry uh, at least one fruit each and the rest of this, please. And thank you! We still have a few Pikmin left. Grab them all. Grab them, Pikmin! Little by little, because we're gonna immediately go for the other big enemy in here. 
We didn't even see it. <laughs> like, we didn't even really glimpse at it. Come on, Pix. Come on, Pix. You're smarter than that. I just praised you for better AI. It's this one over here. Instead of charging this one, I actually suggest that you start hitting it near the eyes. Because that way it won't be able to do basically anything. Uh, some of the enemies in, the, in this game have weaknesses, like uh, this one. I really don't remember the name of it, but... Uh, because it's a bulb something, but it's a, like an anteater version of the bulb orb. Yeah. Those are all the treasures that we needed over here, I'm pretty sure, so the rest of our pigmen are gonna come over here, grab all the gold, and go down in a slide. Also, a very good reason to build a bridge, because if you don't, then the way that they come back is by going all the way around, and that wastes a lot of time. So as long as you do this, then everything, everything should be fine. Grab these few. As I said, multitasking, very, very good thing to do. We're gonna grab these eight and we're gonna charge this we have two left so we're gonna leave them here bashing their heads against the crystals because we are all the way over here we can grab these and pull them have them pull their weight around one two three four use four to get those and now we have enough rocks to break this which is basically the last part that we're missing and so carry the Carry the strawberries, the gold-coated one, and the regular one as well. That's it. That's all that we need. With this, we should finish completely? I'm not entirely sure, because yeah, 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 we brought the, the carcass over, so uh, you can go faster than that, I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's it. Also forgot to mute my stuff, but uh, oh wait, what? I think I'm missing something else, so cup pad, what am I missing? Very not sure what I am actually missing right now, so... Because we're missing five Pocos. Basically nothing. Oh, this Kitter Leaf. I didn't carry it back, but there we go. We got a Platinum, basically, and that's it! That's basically all I wanted to show, so... Uh, I'm gonna start doing my outro here because I ran out of time. <laughs> Technically, I ran out of time. I'm in overtime. Yeah, there we go. We got everything. That means you get a mission complete. We got a platinum. And that is it. That was everything I wanted to show. That is the entirety of the demo for Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And we got a time bonus for 12 extra seconds. Which, I mean, we could do better. It, you can always do better. Ringhorn, earn a bronze medal or better in mission mode. We got more achievements. We also got a silver or better, so that's getting closer. And we also got a gold or better, so that's another one of those. Earn a gold medal or better in mission mode. Good as gold. Yeah. Let's go back to stage select. Uh, we don't want to retry. As I said, if you don't finish, then you get, you're given the option to finish your objectives and explore the map to your heart's content in what is called after hours. That is it for the demo. That is it for anything else. We return to the title screen. Uh, so that was Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I'm very passionate about Pikmin. I love these games to death. I really like Pikmin 3, but I like a lot that it's coming to the Switch. And the controls feel smoother. I have to get myself used to them because I'm used to the Wii U controls. But uh, I have, if I get used to the controls over here, then I'm pretty sure this is going to be great. And yeah, so let me, let me know. Um, let me know in chat or if you're watching on YouTube, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Pikmin later on. So thank you so, so very much for watching uh, for watching and for joining me here for this uh, test ride. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.